Hey guys, so this is an unboxing of my recent purchase, a fake, as you heard it right, fake Dr. Martens Adrian Loafers. So let's open it up. So this is the box that it came with. You see that it's all messed up, but doesn't matter because I'm going to throw these away anyway. And are the shoes themselves. It came with this tag. So I never ever owned a pair of Doc Martens, even the legit one. And I just recently stumbled upon this. In, I mean, I was looking for, holy shit, these are beautiful, man. I was looking for cheaper loafers that looked like this. So different types in Facebook that are Doc Martens inspired. So yeah, I was looking for shoes that looks like this. There are a couple of them that are so-called, uh, Doc Martens inspired but basically they are like locally made that they copied the style the looks of it so I was going for that it was priced at a thousand eight hundred pesos to two thousand one hundred and then I saw my classmate at university I asked her where she where she bought it she said from Shopee and I was like shit it looked real like if I didn't ask her, I would have thought that it was a legit pair of Doc Martens. And so I searched it online. I saw that there were cheaper options. I bought this for 1,544 pesos. Uh, SRP or the retail price of the original Doc Martens in the Philippines are like 9,000 pesos. So this is way, way, way cheaper. I think it looks like, like the real thing. And I'm not sure because I never owned a pair of them. But let's go ahead and take a good look. So this is the right side. There's a tag on the inside. I am a size 9.5. I asked the seller and he or she told me that I should go for a 44 euro. So I did. Then it has this, this echo bag. Love my dogs. And then the other one. So these are the shoes themselves, by the way. These are made from synthetic leather. But I don't mind, because they're fakes and I don't expect them to last that long. And I'll wear them occasionally. I won't wear them every day at school, so it's fine to me. Here's a closer look. In the back. Front. These things that I don't know which are called. But if you look closely, it's it has this what is this like hairy thing? that makes it look like it's real leather but obviously if you look closely it's it's like they just glued it up together they just glued them together to look as if it is a warm piece so i just want to share my thoughts about fakes fake uh, shoes i used to hate them i didn't want to wear them not until recently that i realized I can't afford the real thing so is it bad if I go with the fake ones not at all I mean you can get what you afford right so if you can't afford the real ones what's the harm of using the fake ones because back in junior high people or my classmates are really into the they're really into footwear like right? so basketball shoes sneakers and everything all that and then if you wear fakes and you'd be discriminated or you'll be laughed at but right now i don't really care about it anymore as long as uh as long as it looks good and you're not sacrificing a lot of your money just to get like legit ones this is my brother he's selling fake i mean replicas uas you may call them 
Nike Dunks and all sneakers and this is one of them not until I bought them I wore them that I realized it's almost like the same thing like I stopped collecting sneakers a long time ago so I was out of the game for a long time I mean I was never in it because I didn't have the money but my brother he was still collecting them and he had some sneakers that I tried and I thought they were real not, not until I asked him and I wore it I wore it and it was like just the, the same it was like the same thing I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known that it was fake but I didn't ask him so after that I was like shit maybe I could get like fake ones doesn't matter I mean people wouldn't notice from afar not until like they look at the stitches the thumb and shit so I bought fake Doc Martens so let's proceed with it see this it was I don't know I don't know how original Doc Martens look so this is all new to me it's the first but it has a foam insole it's quite thick on the back on the front but it has its air holes in it and the inside it says this is the stitching you see it I don't know what it is called new buck on the sides the sole is gum sole stitching across is chef's kiss it's good until here it's I mean that's where it, it ends right so it's fine and it's flexible just look at it like there is no thing to keep it stiff so just get bend it like that again this is synthetic leather and stitching here Stitches, there's no stitches here. Stitches, these things, Christmas decoration shit. And that's very much it upon the looks of it. So I'm gonna wear it. So once again, I went for a size 44. I am a 9.5 in Nike. I wear nine and a half when I use Nike shoes, Bonnie shoes, so it runs a little bit big. Like, see that? This is on the edge, toes are on the edge, and there's space in the back. If I wore socks though, I already, I already tried it. If I wear socks, uh, it's it still has like space in it. Like there's no more room to break it in because it's already if you're a nine and a half I'd recommend you go a size lower. I would have gotten a size lower. Actually I was asking them if they have a store so I could like take a fit to know what size I'm in because this is this doesn't have laces in them to tighten them up. But they do not have so that's it for this video, that's it for this fake Doc Martens I got it from Shopee, this is not sponsored so just look it up Search in Shopee uh, Doc Martens Adrian Tassel Loafers If I got it right And the one with the highest sales, like the top rated one, that's where I bought it from So here's a montage of it And thank you for watching and enjoy the montage. See you in the next one.